Hey folks, hope you're all doing well. Thanks for tuning in to another one of my, uh, what do you call, vlogger roonies. Um, <laughs> I did do a live stream earlier today, which was really, really good. I had a great time. Um, managed to connect with a lot of folks over in the US, which is something a little bit different. Usually the time zone I do it, it sort of, it tends to link up a little bit better with obviously fellow Australians and then folks in the UK, just with the time zone difference. But to be able to get a bunch of, um, awesome folks from the US and a few from Canada and everywhere else around the world um, really successful so there will be live streams going at that time again in the future um, but as I did in that video I gave a little bit of a sneak about what I've been up to um, finally got some black series on display needs a little work needs a little bit of shuffling um, but we're getting there I've got some figures to spend times some times tonight standing up um, <laughs> Uh, just moving shelves and stuff, uh, a few have taken a tumble, but it's nothing I can't fix. It's taken a few hours. Uh, so I thought I'd give a little bit of a rundown on what I've been up to um, this last, I suppose last week or two. It's been, I, I can't remember, it's been a week or two since my last vlog, so it's all good. Um, but yeah, to those who were trying to get onto my live stream earlier on the week, when I before I um, postponed it, thank you for tuning in. Um, and thank you for those who came back to when I postponed it. Um, yeah, it was just a little unwell um, and just decided I'm going to push it a couple of days. But I'm glad I did because I had a great time today. So, all right, let's take a look around. All right, so we'll start over here. So I've, I've moved the chair out of the corner. That just allows this window to be open, let a little bit of natural light in. A little bit. There are actually windows all the way across here. Um, obviously I can't get to those uh, there's no open window here for fresh air just a little bit of natural light but if you look outside it's all under cover there's no direct sunlight everything's shaded it's nice um, just a little bit of ambient light as well as being able to get in that door there open that door and get some stuff get some get some fresh air in here every now and then it also gives me access to the little air conditioning unit we're about to head into summer I'm gonna want to control the climate in this room a little bit I feel like it could get a little warm it is a double brick room uh, so I don't know it's, a, it's a, just gonna have to wait and see that was first thing so the chair is sort of just gonna sit wherever I need it <laughs> at any given time uh, whether what I want to look at depending on what I'm doing if I'm gonna sit and read I'm gonna move the chair around wherever um, so yeah I've pretty much got everything done I want to do here with my three and three quarter inch figures those two tubs, uh, one of them is Clone Wars. As you can see, I've got a couple of Clone Wars vehicles on the top there. Still working out the solution for that. Um, and I will explain that as I go here. So what I've done is, all right. So my plan at the moment is with my sequel trilogy shelf down the bottom here, I'm gonna actually drop that down just to give it a little bit more light um, because it's quite a small gap. And my intention was just to line it up with that. But now I'm at the, point where it's like I'm gonna drop that down it's gonna sit a little bit lower they're all staggered anyway so it's fine I'm not too fussed about that um, up the top oh Mandalorian shelf I did put the N1 in there I did have the razor crest in that shelf but it was it took up a lot of space and there are a lot of figures now um, so I wanted to let this breathe a little bit more and obviously lighting will help with that when I get to it so the Razor Crest does go on display up here. I'll more than likely bring it over here once I clear that all out. Um, just I feel like it needs to be in the middle of the room. But aside from that, just got a few figures, a little, few little spots I need to tidy up and s set some figures up that have fallen over. Um, just some vehicles I need to sort of readjust and redisplay. That's all good. I'm pretty happy with how things are going. I did get the medical droid to go with the uh, Darth Vader. I do need to find the FX6 droid. That one's proving a little bit difficult. If anyone's got a spare FX6 from the Legacy Collection, let me know. All right, so moving on to this side, I have been able to adjust some shelves um, and I literally just finished this. I hadn't done this at the time of the live stream. This is when I know to get my Star Wars Rebels and Resistance figures on a shelf, just because there aren't many. Um, ideally, I would have loved to have slotted them in here somewhere in one of those shelves, but they may end up 
going down the bottom there and swapping for like the Disney Infinity and the Galaxy of Adventures figures and they may end up going up there but I'm quite happy with them at the moment they could swap out I'm not sure yet that's a that's a work in progress um, yeah sort of adjusted up the top there a little bit more more of the sort of cups and drinkware and sort of random bits and pieces are up there um, just to sort of tidy that up a little bit I do actually on a day come in and actually run some sealant through the cracks up there just need to get some some filler just to get all those gaps all filled up a lot of dust is coming through from the roof um, so that's a job for another day did sort of um, fit some more Boba Fett stuff in here because I wanted to free up the shelf for the concept figures so I did manage to get them set up as well which I'm very happy about and then basically the biggest thing is black series so I managed to get a couple of shelving units here pretty happy with how that's looking um, the smoke throne scene that is going to need another another area I'm not sure where yet probably up there with where my hot toys are I'd like to get a a detail case for my 1-6 scales even the sideshow ones at the top I'd like to put them behind glass maybe in a little IKEA detail case that can sit in that gap there or even behind the door I'm not sure yet but I think that will work if I get a little detail there get some lights in it put those hot toys in there and then the throne room scene which I really love displaying that the way it was at my old house in my old display um, and get that up in there have a full shelf for it and then down here where I have my sequel trilogy stuff I can space them out a little bit as you can see I do have a lot of troops a lot of stormtroopers and down there some have fallen over but I've got about 20 nearly 30 Sith troopers um, but yeah if I can space them out a little bit and be able to get rid of that th move that throne room out allow that a little bit more room to breathe um, I think my return of the Jedi shelf here I'll need to condense that up a little bit more because I do have my Mandalorian figures here so that's all yeah Mandalorian book of Boba um, probably the Ahsoka related figures will fit in here at some point um, so yeah I'm gonna need to condense that down a little bit to create a little bit more space for them to breathe so it's these little things working on as time goes but yeah Empire Strikes Back I've tried to keep them pretty much chrono chronological A New Hope compared to Rogue One I'd share it we'll need to I would like to replace him with the updated version not really a necessity but I did update the others he looks a I thought he'd be okay but he looks a little out of place now he looks a little bit like an old black series figure uh, rebels again a couple of figures taking a tumble that's fine and get into obi-wan kenobi love those two figures love qui-gon too actually so those two at the front just work uh, yeah obi-wan kenobi solo we get into like the Jedi Fallen Order, Jedi Survivor, Got a few of those figures there, and then season two of Bad Batch. Managed just to sort of slot them up here. Up here, the prequels, I'm going to rework these, maybe condense, pop, crown them in a little bit more. Um, that way I can get the other Bad Batches up here. And Bad Batch season one, and that sort of blends through Revenge of the Sith, Clone Wars again. Some figures have taken tumbles. I will need to spend a bit of time fixing them up, but that's all good. And then, yeah, up here I've got, you know, carded figures, box figures. I'm not sure. Okay, so my next step for these shelves is potentially buy another one of these units. They were only 50 bucks each, so I did quite well there. And they come in sort of, so you can separate them in half. So what I might do is actually extend them up. So they'll be about, you know, roof height and then have the sort of a shelf in the middle top just for a roof almost and then 
I'll have a slot for my helmets um, to put them in across the top level there. Um, yeah, I don't want to go too much higher than that with the figures. That's kind of high enough. I did have them at the top and I dropped them down. I just, to keep them at eye level. Um, these shelves are just under six foot high. So I'm 6'2". So being able to see them at that level is important. Um, so yeah, I'm just, just playing around with a few ideas and what I can do, what I can do to expand on that. Um, yeah, I don't want to put too much up the top there. I don't want to have things falling down. So to have sort of some cups, like I said, get those, get those one six figures down into a glass cabinet. I think that'll boot. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this week, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um, let me know what you think, and uh, we'll talk again soon. Until then, may the force be with you always.